good morning students today we are going to start chapter number first but before that we will take some introduction about your syllabus okay you are in 12th standard and we are going to start computer subject with 12th standard okay if you see the index page in this we have your 13 chapters are there so first we'll take introduction of the all the chapters and then we'll forward with first chapter okay so if you see the on index page our first chapter is creating html forms using the composer in this tool first we should know how to download the composer tool okay it is text editor in this we can create the websites okay and then we can create the html now html you should know it is stands for hypertext markup language and it is used to create websites so how to create a website we will learn in this chapter number one with the composer then after a second chapter it is about the css cascading style sheets and how to use the javascript based on the javascript used for the validation and the css used for the some graphics and uh, some uh, decoration in your html page then chapter 3 will learn how to create an entire website using the html css and the javascript using the composer okay so this is chapter is regarding the composer and the websites chapter 4 will be the introduction to e-commerce it is about the theory how e-commerce works now next chapter number 5 will be the m commerce how to mobile commerce and it is for electronic commerce using the websites on your computer then m commerce means uh, mobile commerce using the cell phone you can also do the some communications uh, then chapter 6 will be object oriented concept it is uh, advanced concept in oops and if you want to make your career in a computer then you should learn programming languages and in the programming languages oops is the main concept object oriented programming okay and then after we'll start to learn java so if you want to make a game so you should learn first the java okay so we'll learn some basic part in the java then how to create class and objects inside the java we will learn in that after that how to create arrays and string inside the java then we will learn chapter number nine about that and then we'll learn chapter number 10 exception handling with the java chapter 11 file handling and then after chapter 12 uh, we'll read the publishing documents using the latex it is different software okay and then chapter number 13 will be other useful free tools and services so entire your syllabus is divided into different categories first three will be your html css and javascript using the composer four and five will be your theory based like e-commerce and m-commerce now number six seven eight nine ten and eleven these chapters are based on the java and uh, programming languages and last two chapter will be uh, easy for the latex documents okay so student this is all about your introduction of your chapter uh, of your syllabus uh, 12 science and commerce both okay part a part a for both all of you you should learn this now we are going to move to chapter number one this is called the creating html forms using the composer now you should arise one question in your mind that what is composer so composer is one kind of editor so that we can create websites previously i think you have learned a uh, notepad in the notepad you can type the html forms and all the tag, uh, tags okay now we have one ready-made uh, editor that is called a composer so before we proceed we should know how to download the composer from the internet so very first we have to open the google or uh, any web browser which you have in your computer so right now i have a google chrome so i have opened it now i will type here download here here type we will type download composer composer for windows if you have a computer if you have a cell uh, laptop or a windows windows os then you can type here windows okay then when you type it then we will have here the uh, official website of the composer is co composer.net now click on the download this okay when you click on uh, then it will open the main page of the composer company and the website now here we have option to download the composer so now click on that it will uh, take here some few seconds to start download okay so once it is finished your download will be begin and it, you can see here see previously i have downloaded it so it is showing us but for you it may it is about up to 7.6 mb okay so it maybe it takes uh, up to less than one minute to download depends on your computer speed internet speed okay now i am pressing ctrl j to check it that uh, is it downloaded or not so still it is in a progress now it is downloaded so now click on the show folder option now when you download it it is in a zip file okay so we have to extract it so before that i'm going to delete it previously the extracted right click on that and click on extract to composer so when it is extracted you can see here the folder is here so double click on that folder uh, then we have right now we have downloaded 0.7.10 version of the composer 
now here all the files are there but we are not accessing anything we just click on the composer which is called an application okay so double click on that so it will start your composer main window like this okay now we don't want any kind of tips so click on and close this button now when you click it it will be closed but next time when you when you open when you start to start the composer you will not find composer anywhere so what to do right now we are it is here so right click on that and click on uh, send to and then uh, desktop okay so that it will create a shortcut on the desktop so that and uh, end of this um, we have a uh, icon on the desktop so now double click on that so composer will be open okay students i hope you understood how to download the composer from the internet this is the simplest way to download and the install the composer to work for the your practical exam and for your st chapter standard 12 okay students i hope you understood this very well next lecture we are going to make for the detailed description about the chapter number one okay this is all about the how to download the composer okay thank you bye